Let's look at how we can use async retry to automatically retry a function x amount of time at a set interval. So this code will be familiar to you if you follow through the async auto video. We'll be using this base code as an example for async retry. So I'm adding another task to the flow of async auto. This time we call persist2db. So this thing requires sign out to be completed. And then it calls the retry function. And here we pass in the first parameter, which is how many times you want to retry, and then the interval between each retry. Here I'm setting it to three times and one second in between each retry. If you don't pass this in and you pass in a number instead, it will basically do the retry, the, whatever the number you pass in, and then the interval will be set to zero. So for example, if you wanted to do it five times, and then with interval zero, this will be what you have to do. So for here, I want to pass it three times with the interval one second in between. When you want to retry, you can write your uh, code in here. After it's done, you call callback with the first parameter being the error object and the second parameter being the successful callback. Um, here, if it's successful, it will basically go to the final callback of the async auto. So let's see how this looks in when we execute it. So we we'll do node async retry. So as you can see, there was no error. And then at the end, you get persist to database. So this gets sent to the final callback. Now let's simulate an error by uncommenting this block here. So this is saying something happened and then it failed to persist to the database. And then we pass nothing back to the value parameter. Instead, we pass an error object. Let's see how this behaves. As you can see, it failed to persist to the database. So it will nothing will get returned, and it will try this three times, each time with one second in between, and then it fails. So in, if you want to basically, let me do it again to show you. One, two, three. So it, in three tries, it failed. So if you want to see uh, if it's actually working, we can do trying to persist to the V. So here you get a better view of how this works. So it's trying there, trying there, and on the third time it failed, so it will stop at the final time. So async retry is very useful if you need to periodically try a particular function, whether it be an API call or anything else, to have it retry x amount of time and have an interval in between. So this way you can easily uh, code your flow of the application.